Good afternoon, Irving. How was your day? Good afternoon. How was your day? Sorry? How was your day? I was resting. I was taking a rest because I work at night. Okay, good. It's hard to work at night because uh, when you sleep in the morning instead uh, of night, there is not the same. Yes. But in time you will you will get in custom. And as far as I know, the night shift earns more money, so <laughs> is you are supposed to earn more money than the ones that work in the morning. <laughs> yes. And what do you do at work? I'm a mechanic. I'm a fire. Thanks. Nice. That's a very nice thing to do. You know, in Europe and United States, and I guess also Canada, uh, the people that repair things earn a lot of money. I really like it to uh, work in Canada. <laughs> ah, it, you, you should try to work in, Can work in Canada because from El Salvador, they are sending people to work in Canada with the papers yes. and everything done. You may try to apply by, uh, I don't know if it's a Ministerio de Trabajo, I think that you have to go and, and, and ask that you want to work in Canada. Yeah, I'm gonna try uh, later. When I, I speak a very more. Well, you, you can continue on, uh, uh, studying online and work, uh, living, living in, in a English speaking country will will make you learn faster. I hear that. Yes, because you, you will be in a native speaker country, then you learn faster because you require it. Yes. Sorry, teacher, it's raining here. Here I I I have problem with the internet. You have problems with the internet. Yes, it's raining here. Yes, here is raining too. But if you go and come, don't worry. Just try to get in. Okay, okay. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Okay. 
I am waiting for the other participants. They told me that they had problems on Monday, but on Tuesday they will come on time. But they are not around. Well, let's start because it's already time. Okay, this is class number two. Uh, Irving, read it, please. Sorry. Can you read it? Sorry, sorry. Can you read it? Right, uh, okay. The solution of education is to teach. Want to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character. That is the goal of true education. Okay, excellent. Well, remember that uh, Albert Einstein said that the education is the train to the mind to think. And here it says that we have to teach to think intensively and critically, okay? And we also have to uh, yeah. take care of the character. So we need education and character. Okay. Now, this is like a review from last, last class, okay? Remember that we see WH questions with B? Now read paragraph, paragraph number, uh, the first paragraph, please. When we use WH question words, we want to know more information. Therefore, your answer cannot be yes or no. Excellent. It is necessary to know the meaning of each word to know what you are being asked. This way you will be able to give a correct answer. Now, and this is the chart that I sent you. Okay. Now, you read the first one, I read the second one. Well, who? With people. Who is that? It's Jack. Okay, what? With things. What are you looking for? A pen. Next. When? With time. When are you leaving? At six. Where? With places. Where do you live? In that house. Which? To make choice. Which blouse do you want? The red one. Why? Asking for a reason. Why do you come? Because... How long? Time. How long will I take? Uh, 15 minutes. Okay. How far? Distance. How far is the school? 
three kilometers. How much amount? How much does it cost? Fifteen dollars. How many? Quantity. How many pupusas do you want? Three. Lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers will be with be are introduced. Now, uh, first just follow the reading, okay? Hey, David, how is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay. Now, you will be David and I will be Sanji, okay? Okay. Hey, David, how is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Ke chemistry. 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 Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, now you are first and I am David, okay? Go okay. ahead. Hey David, how it's going? Fine, thanks, how are you? Pretty good. So, are your class interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen. I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, any any questions about uh, vocabulary? Uh, no, just the, the pronunciation of chemistry Ch is- Chemistry, is chemistry. chemistry. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when you see CH, they don't pronounce it CH. They pronounce it K, 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 chemistry, okay? Okay, and cafeteria. Cafeteria, cafeteria, cafeteria. Okay, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with B, okay? Are you free? Este, como es yes, no question, lo puede contestar con yes o con no. Pero fíjese bien que después del yes o después del no va una coma. Después va el pronombre y después el verbo to be. Ok. Are you free? Repeat. Are you free? Are you free? Yes, I am. 
Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, no, yes. Es yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Así como yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he is not. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Si te fijas, este, en el caso del verbo to be, para las contracciones, en el caso del negativo, aquí puede ir he's not y puede ir he isn't. ¿Ok? Son eh, dos tipos de contracciones diferentes. En el caso del verbo, eh, del verbo to be para I, solo es con I'm, I'm not. No hay, no, no se puede poner el, el am con el not. O sea, el verbo to be con el not contractado no se puede. En el caso de I. En todos los sí. otros sí. En todos los otros sí. Menos para I. Is bed class in the morning? Is bed class in the morning? Beth. Beth. Tenés que poner la lengua entre medio de los dientes. Beth. 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 Uh -huh. Is Beth class in the morning? Is Beth class in the morning? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Okay. Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, we are not. No, we are not. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they are not. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Permitíme, quiero verificar algo. Okay, now. Uh, let's go to the, let's go back to the dialogue. Now we have more students. <laughs> okay, uh, Suleyma and Omar, you are going to do the dialogue. But uh, first, just follow the reading, and then you will be you will be doing okay. Um. Hey, David. How is it going? Fine. Thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, 
are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, now, Omar, you are going to be David and Suleyma, you are going to be Sun He. Mm -hmm. Hello. Um, Hello. Hi, David. How is it going? Omar, you are David. Fine. Thank you. How are you? Pretty good. So are your class in testing this semester? Yes. We are already low chemistry. Chemistry? Are you embed in the same class? No. We are we are we are in my class in the morning here class is in the afternoon. Listen. I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Sure, sure, let's go. Okay. Now, repeat after me. Chemistry. 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 Interesting. 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 Uh, my class is in the morning. My class is in the morning. My Repeat. class is in the morning. Okay. And on my way to the cafeteria. Repeat, please. On my way to the cafeteria. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any any questions about vocabulary? Alguna pregunta sobre vocabulary? No? Mm, no. Okay. Then now we are with the yes no questions. Uh, repeat after me. Are you free? Are you free? All of the, all of you, please. Are you free? Are you free? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Is Beth class in the morning? Is Beth class in the morning? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Omar, ¿qué pasa que no está eh, repitiendo? Y también Irving. Todos tienen que repetir, please. Now, are you and Beth in the same class? Are you and Beth in the same, same class? Beth in the same class. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, we are not. No, no, we are not. No, we aren't. No, no, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Are, are your classes 
Interesting. Interesting. Yes, they are. Yes, they, they are. are. No, they are not. No, no they, they are, are not. No, they aren't. No, no they, they aren't. aren't. Now let's go to the knowledge check. Recuerden que ustedes pueden ir adelantando todo lo que quieran, ¿verdad? Y si tienen alguna duda o consulta, por medio del WhatsApp nos preguntan. Entre más luego termine usted la plataforma, mejor. Ok. Eh, el de ahorita, este knowledge check, es con las yes, no, long answers with B. Ok. Acuérdense que lo que acabamos de ver son yes, no, questions with short answers. Y aquí les están pidiendo yes, no questions with long answers, ¿ok? Answer these questions about yourself. Remember to give either a complete affirmative or negative answer, ¿ok? Are you from the United States? Are you from the United States? ¿Cómo lo responderían? No. No, I am not from the United States. Excellent. Now, number two. Is your teacher from Canada? No. No, no she, my, teacher my teacher isn't, isn't from, from Canada. Canada. Okay. Is your English class in the morning? No, it isn't no, in the morning. It isn't in the morning. Excellent. Are you and your best friend the same age? No. No? No, we are not the same age. We are not the same. The same age. Okay. Let's see. Okay, hay una incorrecta. Entonces tal vez sí. <ríe> Vamos a ver. No. Tal vez el punto final no lo tiene. Sí, qué mal. Vamos a ver. Como no ahí está. Entonces vamos a ver. Vamos a ver ahora. Así ah, sí, sí lo quiso. Con chi. Pero aquí cuando dicen teacher no se sabe si es mujer o hombre. Por eso era mejor poner teacher. Pero bueno, ellos lo piden con chi. No, she isn't from Canada, ¿ok? Esa es la respuesta. No, she isn't from Canada. Bien, este... Hoy tenemos que terminar eh, la sección 1. Mañana vamos a empezar la sección 2 porque en esta semana vamos a ver dos secciones, ¿ok? Y la próxima semana vamos a hacer la sección 3 con el middle term exam, con el examen eh, intermedio, ¿ok? Vamos a ver el otro. Ya hicimos el knowledge check. Este, ¿Copiaron las respuestas o quieren que, eh, copiarlas? ¿Sí? ¿Las tienen? ¿Las tienen todos? Okay. 
Now, in this lesson, participants will be able to read an article and to answer some comprehension questions. Okay. I mean, reading exercise. What is in a name? Glorious. Tenemos que leer el artículo. Quiero ver si lo tengo aquí. No, no lo tengo. Nos vamos al... Nos vamos aquí. Bueno, what is in a name? Read the following article about names. Then check the statements that are true. Bueno, lo vamos a tener aquí. Vamos a ver. Ah, no se puede. Vamos a ver aquí. Excelente. Aquí sí se puede poner más grande. Bueno, ¿Alcanzan a ver? Yes. ¿Lo alcanzan a ver? ¿O lo pongo más grande? What's in a name? Look at the names Oye. in the article. Do you know any people with yes. these names? What are they like? Okay. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is as important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or athletes. Most popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here, there are some common opinions about names from recent survey. Okay, boys' names. George is average, is boring, according to some people. Jacob is creative and friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. That nerdy is that is intelligent, okay? O sea, nerd, nerd le dicen a los que son inteligentes o estudiosos. Okay, girls' names, Betty, old fashioned, average. Emily, independent, adventurous. Jane is plain, ordinary. Nicole is beautiful, intelligent, okay? Now, so why do parents give their, chil their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Betty's out there. 
¿ok? Mi nombre era popular cuando me lo pusieron. <risa> Elizabeth. Ok. Eh, do you want to read the article with me? ¿Quieren leer el artículo conmigo? O sea, repetirlo después de mí. ¿Sí? Ok. What's in a name? Repeat. What's in a name? What's in a name? Look at the names in the article. Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? Do you know any people with this name? Omar, ¿qué pasó? ¿Tiene problemas? Ya. Yeah. Oh, ok, ok. Your name is very important. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, when you think of yourself, You probably think of your name first. You, you probably, probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. It is an important part of your identity. Identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Right, right now, now the right two now. most popular names for babies in the United States are, are Jacob for boys, Jacob for boys, Jacob for boys, and Emily for girls. And, and Emily, Emily for, for girls. Why are these names popular? Why, Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular. Names can become popular because of famous actors. Because of famous actors. Because of TV or book characters? TV or book characters? Or athletes? Or athletes? Popular names? Popular names? Suggest? 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 Very positive things? Very positive things? Unpopular names suggest. Um, unpopular names suggest. Suggest. Negative things. Negative, negative things. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. People generally agree. People generally agree. On the way they feel about names. On the way they feel, feel about, about names. names. Uh, here are some common opinions. Here are some common opinions. Some common opinions. About names. About, about names. From a recent survey. From a recent survey. Boys names. Boys names. George. 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 Average boring. Average boring. Jacob. Jacob. Creative friendly. Creative friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic. Michael, good looking, athletic. Stanley, nerdy, serious. 
Estaré nearly serious. Serious. Girls names. Girls names. Very old fashion average. Very old fashion average. Emily independent adventurous. Average. Emily independent adventurous. Jane plain ordinary. Jane plain ordinary. Nicole beautiful intelligent. Nicole beautiful intelligent. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? So why do parents give their children unpopular names? So the biggest the reason is tradition. The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. Of course, opinion can change over time. A name that is unpopular now. A name that is unpopular now. Might become popular in the future. My become popular in the future. That's good news. That's good news. For all the Georges and Berries out there. For all the Georges and Berries out there. Okay. Entonces ahora, your name is part of your identity? True or false? True. 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 Okay. People often feel the same way about a particular name. De acuerdo al artículo, dice que sí, verdad? Porque están hecho un survey. True. Yes. yes. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. 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 People are often named after family members. True. Opinions about names can change. How to choose. True. Excellent. Okay. Oops. Permítanme. Bien. Entonces, con esto ya terminamos lo que es la sección 1. ¿Verdad? Y tenemos que seguir con la sección 2. Sí, sí. ¿Alguna duda o consulta con respecto al verbo to be? Acuerden que el verbo no. to be eh, para... Los estadounidenses significan dos verbos para nosotros. Es ser o estar. Por eso cuando ellos, para ellos, como para ellos es lo mismo, eh, ser o estar. Entonces, este, cuando ellos eh, quieren hablar en español, por lo general tienen problemas. Entonces, no sé si ustedes los han escuchado hablar a los gringos cuando deberían de decir ser dicen estar y cuando deberían de ser estar dicen ser porque para ellos es lo mismo ¿verdad? entonces a ellos hay que enseñarles cuál es la diferencia nunca han oído hablar a, a gringos que, que se equivocan en eso en mi caso yo, yo me he dado cuenta varias veces de ese mismo error en, en, en gente de habla inglesa. Este. A ver qué hora son. 3 y 42. 
¿Quieren que repitamos lo del diálogo o, o, o continúo con, con la siguiente sección? ¿Continúo con la sec siguiente sección o nos retrocedemos para el diálogo? Um, the next section. Next section, ok. Entonces, tenemos que... Esta va para... Supuestamente para la clase de mañana. Eh, Suleima, could you read the thought for today, please? By education, I mean an all round driving of the best in child and men in body, mind, and spirit. Ok. O sea que... Tenemos que sacar lo mejor en los niños y en los hombres, tanto en el cuerpo, en la mente y en el espíritu, ¿verdad? O sea que tenemos que ver al, a, al niño y al hombre en su totalidad, ¿verdad? O sea que no es bueno eh, querer educar solamente la mente, también hay que educar el cuerpo y el espíritu, ¿ok? Now, the lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs use, using WS questions, words, as well as statements. Okay, follow the reading. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Uh, yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? in a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Now, listen and repeat. Where do you work, Andrea? Where did you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. ¿Qué pasó, Irving? ¿No estás repitiendo? <ríe> Repitan. Where do you work, Andrea? Ok, okay eso es. Andrea. I work at Where Thomas work, Cook Andrea? Travel. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, really? What What do you do there? I'm what a guy. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I'm a I guy. take people on tours. I take people on tours. To countries I in South America. To countries oh, wow. in South America. Like Peru. Like Peru. How interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. I love it. And what do you do? And what do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. And I have a part-time job, too. And I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. 
My, este, any doubts about vocabulary? ¿Alguna duda sobre vocabulario? No? No. Este, este es como un modismo. What do you do? What do you do? Cuando usted le quiere preguntar a alguien que, que qué es lo que hace, usted dice, what do you do? ¿Verdad? Hay quienes dicen también, what, what are you doing for a living? Es cuando usted quiere saber eh, en qué trabaja. ¿Verdad? O sea, que en lugar de decirle, where do you work? Usted le pregunta, what do you do for a living? Y este de part-time job, ¿saben a qué se refiere? Trabajo de medio tiempo. Exacto, trabajo de medio tiempo. O sea que trabaja solo cuatro horas al día en vez de ocho, ¿verdad? Para poder estudiar. Now, eh, ahora, este... Who wants to be Jason? ¿Quién quiere ser Jason? I'm going to try it. Ok. ¿Y Andrea? ¿Quién quiere ser Andrea? Hi. Ok, go ahead. Uriel? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? Next, please. I am a, I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, excellent. Now, Omar, you are going to be Jason, I will be Andrea. Omar? Hello. Okay. Start. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am uh, a player and have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In the purple restaurant. Which restaurant? I will the Okay, excellent. Now, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use the simple present. Okay. Okay, this is 
Simple present WH questions and their answers, okay? What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at or I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She is a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Ahí si se fijan, aquí preguntan, what do you do? Y esta es la respuesta. Okay. Where do you work? Aquí dice, I work at. O sea, ¿dónde va? Y aquí dice, vaya, eh, cuando a usted le preguntan con mm -hmm. you, uno eh, contesta con I. ¿Ok? Y cuando preguntan por una mujer, does Andrea work? Entonces, contestan con el verbo en tercera persona. ¿Ok? She works. Works. Entonces, aquí dice, what does she do? She is a guy. And then she takes people on tours. How does she like it? Este es para preguntar si le gusta o no le gusta. She loves it. Le encanta. Le encanta. Now, repeat after me. What do you do? What do, you do? what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. And I have a part-time job. And I have a part-time job. And Where I do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Do I you work. work? At a restaurant. I work at a restaurant. I, I work, work in a restaurant. a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? Where do you, Where go, do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? What does she do? She's a guy. She's a guy. She takes people on tours. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? How does she like it? She loves it. She loves it. She loves it. Okay. Alguna duda o consulta? Pues, si se fijan aquí ya no estamos solamente con el verbo to be, sino que ya estamos viendo other than be, porque work es otro verbo que no es el verbo to be. Entonces aquí dice, I work at, ¿verdad? Y cuando le preguntan, where do you go? I go to. Pero si le estuvieran preguntando por she or he, le usarían does en vez de do, ¿ok? Porque es tercera persona del singular. Y si se fijan, aquí en esta pregunta, does Andrea work, ¿verdad? Va el auxiliar en tercera persona, pero el verbo va en su forma simple. Pero cuando se contesta, ¿verdad? Se pone el verbo en tercera persona del singular. Entonces se dice, she works. 
¿verdad? Ya no se dice she works, se dice she works, ¿verdad? Porque ya se le está dando al verbo la tercera persona. Si esto estuviera en negativo, si dijera no, she doesn't work, entonces sería así, no, she doesn't work, o no, she does not work, ¿verdad? No. Se tendría que usar no. el auxiliar y entonces el, el auxiliar lo toma el das, eh, toma el, el la tercera persona y el, el verbo queda otra vez en su forma simple. O sea que el verbo para la tercera persona solo se pone así para eh, las afirmativas. Cuando tenemos preguntas y cuando tenemos negativas, utilizamos el auxiliar y el auxiliar es el que absorbe la tercera persona. ¿Alguna duda o consulta? No. No. ¿No? Bien, entonces no. seguimos. Perdón. Este, aquí dice, por ejemplo... Para I es work. Para I, you, we y they, ocupamos el verbo en su forma básica, ¿verdad? Work, take, study, teach, do, go, and have. Pero para tercera persona del singular, ocupamos el agreement del verbo. Works, takes, studies, Teaches, does, goes, has. Now repeat after me. I work. I work. I work. I, work. I take. I take. You study. You study. study. I teach. I teach. I do. I you go. You go. You go. I have. I, I have. have. Ahí con tercera persona. He works. He works. She takes. She takes. He studies. He studies. He studies. She teaches. She teaches. He does. He, he does. does. She goes. She goes. He has. He, he has. has. Bien. Entonces, este, nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Acuérdese de adelantar todo lo que puedan en la plataforma. ¿Verdad? Entre más trabajen en la plataforma, mejor. Y cualquier duda o consulta en el WhatsApp. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.